Uh, my name is Ali, I'm 20 years old and I am a climate and human rights activist. If you could have been part in one historic moment in anti-racist struggles, which one would it be? I think I would have um, joined the movement um, against the public transport company for um, well, they, they just basically discriminated black people just because they were black. And there was an amazing moment, a uh, historical moment there, and I would have joined there. I think that was kind of the spark of um, everything that happened after that. I mean, if, if that moment wouldn't happen, uh, we wouldn't have um, Dr. Martin Luther King um, having that great speech about civil rights in Washington. Um, so I think um, I would have wanted to be at this park at where it all, almost started. The whole movement started. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. We will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together knowing that we will be free one day. Let freedom ring and when this happens... Would you call yourself a radical? Um, I would call myself a radical and um, just to clarify, radical means to going to the ground, so targeting something's ground and fundament. Um, and yes, because um, my entire activism is centered at targeting the fundament of human rights and supporting that fundament. So I would call myself a radical in that sense, but it does not mean extreme. So, Which song or film helps you in a moment where you feel politically powerless? Film Vida Vandanta and um, song, oh, they're multiply, um, um, mostly by Shahin Najafi, who's um, a singer and also an activist, a reigning activist living in London, I think, right now. Which book would you recommend as a starting point for newcomers? Um, that would be an Organizer's Handbook, Organizing Powered People Change um, by Marshall Gans. Definitely, that's the Bible of activists. He defines uh, leadership and um, organizing. So basically they define um, leadership as taking responsibility to enabling people to achieve um, the purpose in face of uncertainty and organizing means the leadership to help people to use, to um, identify the resources they have to create the power they need in order to achieve the change they want. Um, so I think uh, that's the most important thing um, in activism, to um, mobilize the power and resources one as a person has in order to achieve the change they want. Which theorist or activist has strongly influenced you in your political work? Um, I don't know, to be honest. Um, I hardly get inspired by people. I get inspired by the actions, but not by people. So I don't really have a name. Actions inspire me, not people. Who or what do you think of when you need courage? Depends on the situation. It's the hope that motivates people to act. And um, hope means thinking about what is possible rather than what it could be um, or other, other ways around so thinking about what it could be than what is possible so I think about what it could be rather than what is possible right now and target or um, approach a way to get closer to what it could be 